a wooden sketchbook. I started working on this project in 2004 in Paris. Since then, I work on the wooden sketchbook regularly, sometimes in a very intense way, sometimes only very rarely. It is a matter of feeling. As indicated in the title, a wooden sketchbook, the concept is the one of an open diary or an artist's sketchbook. It comes along with sometimes very personal subjects of my personal, private, everyday life, sometimes more general subjects, political or social events. The more the wooden sketchbook grows over the years, the more it becomes a large-scale fresco depicting our time. One information literally destroys the other one, makes us forget about it. The illustrations for the Tower Te King by Lao Tzu in the Luxembourgish translation version by Serge Tonnard. I treat the different images in a very free way, this series in relation with this ancient Chinese text are the exact opposite actually of a wooden sketchbook, as I stick to the meaning of the text as far as possible. Also, these illustrations were made in three months, a very, very short time. And once the illustrations were done, the work was done, unlike the wooden sketchbook that goes on and on and on. The last waltz is a series of trees and leaves in the autumn wind, a poetical and quite abstract work in nine parts that is also a tribute to painters like Claude Monet or Cy Twombly. After 34 years, I started working on edges again. The great technical skills required by these old techniques fascinate me. The look of a copper print is something absolutely unique. It is a pity that these old-fashioned techniques are disappearing more and more, as most people nowadays don't make the difference between a skillful piece of handcrafted art or a simple photo print. My diaries and sketchbooks the basics of my work and an everyday practice since I was a young man. The Artist Workshop first version, a series of 16 drawings and a large oil painting I did for the Mudam collection in 2004 about how and what is art.